Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days um, and welcome to a very frustrating uh, Mattel figure review. I say frustrating because this is actually the second time I'm doing this review. Um, I did a review very late last night, uh, did the unboxing, the whole thing. Um, it was, was alright, it was pretty good. Um, came to edit it and it's all, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's a little bit warped and I don't know, something crazy must have been going on with the camera. Anyway, I'm doing it again. Uh, so that is the reason why it's already out of the box. Um, I've got the package in here. The person that we're going to review today is Billy Gunn. Uh, so obviously still got the package in. So it's Billy Gunn figure. This is Elite Series 27, so we're really going back. Um, and this is the back of the package in. Uh, so other ones in this series include Undertaker, Fandango, uh, Rob Van Dam, Kofi Kingston and Rikishi. It's got a picture there of uh, Billy Gunn um, and there's Billy Gunn there as well. And Billy Gunn there as well on the side. Uh, so a couple of different images on the packaging. Um, I can tell you that this is the first time to line for Billy Gunn. Um, and uh, I can read this bit on the back for you so you know exactly what it says. It says, bursting onto the scene as part of the smoking guns. It was evident from the get-go that Billy Gunn at six foot three, 260 pounds, um, and being a powerful Texan force uh, to reckon with, a natural athlete with the ability to deliver deadly drop kicks and the power to hoist opponents over his head. Gunn's career reached its peak when he forms the infamous tag team, uh, the New Age Outlaws with Road Dog. Together, the perfectly matched pairs bested some of the most legendary duos like the Legion of Doom and the Rock and Sock Connection on their way to becoming a five-time tag team champions. The New Age Outlaws have gone down in the history books as one of the most popular duos in WWE history. So that's what it says on the back. Um, that only touches the iceberg, though, when it comes to uh, Billy Gunn. Um, I've got the figure here, rather than me keep waving the box around. Ta -da! Here he is. Um, and as you can see, he's in DX attire. And that's because the New Age Outlaws uh, aligned themselves with uh, DX. And so uh, you actually get a couple of DX tops with this. There's a white DX top there. And then, as we said, we've got the black DX top. And I'm not sure if you can see the headband, but that is D-Generation X as well. Uh, the other accessory you get with this is you can actually take this DX headband off and you can just put on uh, a normal uh, headband. Let me see if I can fit this on. There we go. Oh, no. That looked awful. Uh, there we go. So that is the alternative headband. It's literally just a black headband with a an, and it's fallen on the floor right I better get that before Finn gets that the little dog that roams this flat uh, right so accessory wise um, decent really decent face scan wise I think it's really strong um, I would love for them to make a smoking guns Billy gun that's how um, he came into the business and that's certainly how I first saw of him, I didn't see him on like the independence or anything. Um, so yeah, he came in as part of the Smoking Guns. I think that'd be really cool if they, they would do that. I can tell you he's actually an 11 time tag team champion, as we said, five times with the New Age Outlaws, but he held the titles with the Smoking Guns. He also held the titles when he was in the tag team Billy and Chuck, uh, for those of you that remember Billy and Chuck. Uh, he was in WWE from 1993 to 2004. He then had a stint with TNA uh, for a few years and then he came back to WWE. Um, he is a one-time Intercontinental Champion, two-time Hardcore Champion and he won the 1999 King of the Ring as well. Um, my, one of my favourite eras of his, which was uh, relatively short-lived, was when he was known as Rockabilly and he used to come down to the ring with the Honky Tonk Man, and this was during the Attitude Era, so the Honky Tonk Man used to used to bring uh, Billy Gunn down to the ring, um, and he had like this kind of Elvis kind of suit on, and uh, yeah, it was very much uh, a protege of the Honky Tonk Man. Um, as I said, it was relatively short-lived, 
uh, during like his singles career. Um, but that was just a cool little uh, you know period in Billy Gunn's history uh, to say that you were the protege of the honky tonk man. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't work for WWE anymore because he failed a drugs test whilst he was at a powerlifting event. Uh, I think it was last year because he was on. He was part of the Tough Enough um, competition. He was one of the trainers for Tough Enough, um, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, he failed a drugs test, so he's banned from powerlifting for four years. And WWE have distanced themselves from him as well. But I'm sure he'll be back. Um, because, you know, he's had such a big career, you know, an 11-time tag team champion. <sighs> you know, how do you... Uh, I'm sure you just go away, serve your punishment, and then they'll welcome you back. Well, they should, anyway. Um, right, let's take the top off. Let's go back to the figure, anyway. Uh, so, here's the figure. Uh, I can tell you the other thing, as well, from other reviews that I've seen of this figure is that there's uh, a pair of lips missing right off the front. Uh, a little bit cheeky, so maybe that's why Mattel left them off, but um, there should be five sets of lips on the front of his trunks. There are only four visible on this. Um, also on the knee pads, it says BA and BG. That's Badass Billy Gunn. Um, because he was called Badass, his name kind of morphed into Mr. Ass. Um, and this is kind of his uh, attire. You've got the boots at the bottom that have got DX on, um, just on the tops there. Uh, nice detail on the boots. This is a good body type for him as well. Um, my only criticisms that I've got with this figure, because I think the face scan is one of the best face scans I've ever seen, the fact it comes with four accessories as well, and that the figure is really strong. This is This is ticking every box, but my only problem is the top part is very, very loose, very loose. And uh, also, I don't know if you've got this figure at home, but can you see between the uh, wrist and the hand there? I don't know if you can. Hopefully it's in shot. But there's just, there's a gap. And I've tried pushing that down and it won't go down. I think you can pick it up there. It won't go further down, so there's this gap which is just really annoying. Now, I don't know if it's just this figure. It could just be this figure. Um, or if that was a manufacturing fault with all of them. But for that reason, uh, I can't give this 10 out of 10. I'm going to have to give this uh, a low 9. Because I think there's enough here for it to warrant a low 9. Um, and as I said, this is one of the best face scans I've, I've ever seen from Mattel. And... How impressive, I'm going back to Elite 27 for it. So uh, it shows they've been putting out fantastic figures for a long, long time. So awesome work, Mattel. I am impressed with it. Um, and Billy Gunn, as we said, is a, a legend, an absolute legend. One half of one of the most uh, important tag teams in wrestling history. Um, well, I mean, he's been in several, as we, as we said, an 11 time tag team champion. So awesome. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you've got this figure, if you uh, know a bit more about Billy Gunn that you want to share with the channel. Um, if you've got this figure and you've got that problem with the, the hand joint. Uh, as I said, I've tried pushing it in. I, don't, I just don't think I can get it back in. But I know some of you do customs and whatnot, so it might be I have to twist it or whatever. But I don't want to take, I don't want to rip the hand off. Just have a Billy Gun with a severed hand. That'd be horrific. Um, <laughs> uh, cool. Right. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I, I really do appreciate it. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Um, you can uh, drop in the comments below anything you want to discuss. Or jump over to Twitter and Facebook uh, at Wrestling Days UK. Um, and I think that's it for now. I've got loads of videos on the way. This is just... This was a quick one. I wanted to get out last night, and as I said, it went horrifically wrong. So I've done it again uh, this morning for you guys. Uh, but there's a lot of good videos on the way. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, I really would appreciate it. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Mm.